course, power-wise, one of the characteristics of an electric engine is that it delivers full torque from one RPM. So yeah, the acceleration is, um, is very impressive. Well, I've always had a very big interest in uh, electric cars and new technology. Um, as in the past, racing has always proven to be a, let's say, racing laboratory. A development center for new technologies being to be developed for, let's say, general use in cars. Um, so I think, yeah, definitely uh, this series is going to only, let's say, uh, accelerate this. Uh, and will not just accelerate the development, but also the interest of people in electric cars. Then this technology may be transferred to the, our road cars. So Maybe in the future you don't need the charging. You're driving while charging, you don't need batteries, right? You just need some backup batteries. The rest is already electric road, actually. That's, uh, I've seen a movie like uh, 10 years ago, but now it's getting there, right? 现在大家都支持环保The uh, most exciting thing about this all-new FIA Formula E car is that it's completely different from anything else that I've ever raced before. Uh, well, first of all, electric, electric power, zero emission. Uh, second, I think the whole concept of the car is very different. For me as a driver, feeling-wise, the tires uh, are much larger diameter uh, than we normally use on a Formula car. Well, I think one of the attractive points about Formula E is that they're racing in inside city centers of major cities all around the world. Well, I think Beijing uh, being the kickoff, being the inaugural race, is uh, well, probably one of the best choices they could have made. I think the location here at the Olympic Park is so iconic. So to have this race, to have a car race here in the Olympic Park, to be honest, I think it has only been possible because it's a series with no emission.